We're looking at a spreadsheet now that contains all the orders for our test company. And there are approximately 3,800 different orders. Now, each of these orders, or invoices, is a separate spreadsheet. And that has got to be filed, created individually, and then filed. And what we've done here is we've created another spreadsheet as those invoices were created. And we've entered the invoice number, the date, the client, and the value of that invoice. So this is a manual step, it's an extra step that you have to take. Now in order to work with this list and make sense of it, what we need to do is let's sort by client first of all. So we click into the very first cell that we're going to sort on. And then we drag down the spreadsheet to the last cell. We hold the shift key and we click on that last cell which selects the whole data set. Then we go to the data menu and we choose sort and we change the sort from invoice number to client A to Z so it'll start with A's and we press sort. And as you can see as I scroll up all the invoices are grouped together by customer. But that doesn't give you the total value of each of these customers' invoices. So let's just take this one here, Adam's Rib Restaurant at Norwalk. In order to total up the invoices or the orders for this particular customer, we have to click into a blank cell, and we type equals sum and open brackets. And then we click in the first cell, and we drag down, or the first amount, and we drag down to the last, so we've selected it, and then we close the brackets and now we've got total sales for that customer. Now we've got literally hundreds and hundreds of clients so to do this for every single client is going to take a long time and admittedly you probably don't have to do it very often but nevertheless it's a lot of work. So let's now look at it in a FileMaker database. We're now looking at pretty much the same information except that this time we're in the database and we're looking at the clients and if we sort them by alphabetically we can see the name of the client where they're based the number of quotes and the value of those quotes the number of orders and the value of those orders and if there's a conversion from quotes to orders we've got the conversion process percentage so for example this one here we had three quotes versus worth two thousand seventy six dollars with two orders worth 5,363. So the percentage of conversion from order to quote, or quote to order rather, is 258%. So without having to do anything, any, anything extra, the program is compiling this information as you add invoices or orders and quotes. This is happening automatically, all the time. So it's being updated constantly. Now, if you want to sort by the value of the orders, you just press the sort button at the top and you'll now see that all of the orders are grouped for this company in terms of the total value of the orders not necessarily the number of orders but the value of the orders and it shows you what percentage of the total that number represents or that client represents so this first customer represents 3.06 percent of our orders now if we go and do the same thing by the quotes, we see the value of the quotes, and we see the percentage of the of the total quotes that that represents. So again, we're just going from one to the other and being able to see all the information we need to in terms of performance and relative value of the company to you, or the client to your company, without having to jump through any hoops or create any extra documents or do any extra work. And I think you'll agree that's a much better solution.